Welcome to BVM Contracting. My name is Ryan. I'm Carrie. And welcome to our home. When we started looking for a house, we were really sold on having the opportunity to put in an apartment and have a rental income to kind of um, offset our mortgage. So that's kind of where this property came into play. It was an unfinished basement, so we just kind of had to put the apartment in. Well, for me, actually, I had a lot of doubts in buying the property. We knew going in that the home inspection came back pretty poorly. There was no insulation on the outer wall. The energy efficiency of the home, um, the overall health of the home. So for us, it was a matter of if we're going to be paying for these renovations, it might as well be what we want and tailored to our tastes. That was why we ended up going with a fixer-upper instead of an existing move-in ready home. We wanted to find a move-in ready home with a basement apartment. Uh, instead, we found a not so great house and made it our own. So we signed all the documents for the house in January and then we closed um, halfway through April. Because you actually have to get someone to come in and measure your house uh, to get the drawings and get the permits and get the design going, we utilize the visits that you get after uh, signing all the documents to measure all the dimensions of the house, uh, which the uh, architect then used to create the design of what we wanted. We actually focused from a bottom-up approach, which is a little bit different. Most people would finish the top first, but because of our mortgage, we wanted to get the basement done as quickly as possible so we'd have access to our financing. We did actually quite a bit of the demo work ourselves, but we also had some demo teams in here. So it was really just tearing everything apart, and that is really, really fast. It's more the putting it back together that takes a little bit longer. Um, one of the things that BVM Contracting, and well, obviously I'm a part of BVM Contracting, but one of the things that we were able to do uh, as BVM contracting was to cost out how much everything would be so how much the basement renovation would cost how much all the things that we wanted to do up on the main floor would cost which gave us a really good idea right from the get-go what the overall cost of the renovation was going to be so we framed out the basement we lowered the basement and we put in plumbing and all kind of the bones of the house the basement was finished in about a total of three months after that we focus more on upstairs and having the finishing touches completed. What we really tried to do with the entire space was open it up. We pretty much tore out all the walls that we could and made it as open concept as possible. Uh, there's only so much you can do with the 800 square foot uh, bungalow though. So We went with Ikea for our kitchen. It took us probably another three months after that to have everything finished for the most part. Because the state of the exterior of the house was in very poor shape and the bricks were really ugly. Uh, we wanted to spruce up the exterior while we were at it and uh, do as much as we could to you know, improve the eaves troughs, downspouts, uh, again, a lot of the structural stuff. Um, and overall it turned into what you see now. Yeah, the house was yellow. It was really yellow. <laughs> didn't, did not like it. Was, it. <laughs> it was beyond ugly. Which, yeah, we don't have to sugarcoat it. Yeah, so. We knew going in that the Toronto rental market was really hot and uh, that really guided our decision making when it came to this investment uh, because at the end of the day it is an investment to buy a property like this and put a basement apartment in. Because of all the renovations we did, we're paying off more than half our mortgage, which is amazing. We made a lot of um, conscious decisions in terms of small space living, um, a lot of built-in storage, hidden storage. Um, and really making the most of kind of two separate apartments um, that could be kind of rented out in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even though it's a small bungalow, like I said, it's, it's got everything you need to create a cash flowing property with the two units. Uh, and that, that was one of the most important things for us. Like, we're, we're pretty young, we're just starting out our careers and we're not rolling in it. So it wasn't something where we could just kind of throw money at different areas without knowing where that was going and how much we were gonna be spending in the end. So it was really helpful to be able to put a number to that and, and tell us exactly what to expect in terms of that. And obviously there's always things that are unexpected, um, but at least having that ballpark is, is very helpful and gives you peace of mind. Uh, we had some time before we closed on the house to get all the permits in place and everything set so that on day one we could actually get going on the renovations and we recommend to partner as soon as possible with uh, a, an architect or a designer to make sure that when you buy or close on these properties you just get started right away uh, because it helps to move along the process uh, as quickly as possible.
Yeah, and actually having spoken to the architect beforehand allowed us to make design decisions right from the get-go. Um, we were able to talk to them and reiterate our vision for what the house would actually look like um, over the course of a couple months. Um, there were definitely some changes we had to make and he had kind of expert experience uh, specifically for us in terms of putting in a basement apartment, what design factors we need to take into account, um, square footage, um, ceiling height, all, all kind of the important things to keep in mind for that. Um, and then for upstairs he was able to kind of take my jumbled up uh, Pinterest board written mind and to put it onto paper and help come up with a floor plan that would be exactly what we what we wanted. Yeah, and he, he did a really good job of um, kind of utilizing as much space as possible. There's a few things like the uh, the living room closet, and the closet in the uh, the main bedroom. A lot of things that you thought of and you knew we needed, but he was able to find the space in our in our small bungalow, which is cool. Uh, one of the main ways that we were able to afford this was by actually opening up a line of credit before we even started the renovations. We definitely leaned on people who have been through a similar process before um, when we were deciding on different mortgages and what we needed to do to finance the project. So that was really helpful. So I'd say anyone going through that process, um, lean on people who have been through it before, lean on um, BVM, lean on um, any kind of resources you can to help you make those big decisions. With with the mortgage itself, uh, one of the things that we actually were able to do was add on the cost of the renovations in the basement to the mortgage. Uh, what it's called is purchase plus improvement. And a few mortgage lenders are able to do, to do that, uh, which means that you don't have to come up with the money up front. Um, you can kind of lean on your renovation consultant or your renovation company to um, help get the renovations completed. And then once the renovations are completed, you get the money to put into or offset the cost of the renovations. The, the main goal is to show people how this type of renovation is completed so that other people can do it just the same. It's not as daunting as you think it may be when you get into it. It's not as hard as you think it will be. We're really excited to share a story. Um, thanks so much for watching and kind of joining in on this adventure with us. Um, it's, it's really exciting for us and we're really happy that we're able to share it with you. So thanks again. Yeah, Harry was the one who gave us the, uh, the confidence to kind of move forward and property and I'm really glad that we